The Level Quick Start Wizard is the fastest and easiest way to program your device for a simple level measurement application. Power up the device and you will see the following screen indicating that the unit is at factory default. If you do not see this screen, you should perform a master reset. Now, to enter program mode and configure the device using the Quick Start Wizard, press the right arrow. Once in program mode, you will see the main menu. You can scroll up and down with the arrows to view menu options. Highlight the wizard's option and press the right arrow to select. The wizard's menu has two options. Select the quick start by pressing the right arrow. Today, we are configuring the level quick start wizard. Highlight QS level and press the right arrow to select. Press the down arrow and select start. Now choose if your device is single or dual point. Press the right arrow to select Edit to choose your measuring point. Using the up and down arrows, select what point you are programming and press the right arrow to enter your selection. Press the down arrow to select Next to continue. Now let's select your transducer model. Press the right arrow to select Edit to choose your transducer model. The factory default is no transducer. Using the up-down arrows, highlight your transducer model and press the right arrow to enter your selection. Press the down arrow to select Next to proceed. Now let's select your mode of operation. The default operation for a single point unit is distance and the default for a dual point unit is level. Press the right arrow to select Edit to change the mode of operation. Level operation measure the height of material in the vessel from the low calibration point to the high calibration point. Space operation measures the distance between the top of the material surface to the high calibration point. Distance operation measure the distance from the face of the transducer to the top of the material surface. Using the up-down arrows, highlight the level mode of operations and press the right arrow to enter your selection. Press the down arrow to select Next to proceed. Now let's select your temperature source. Press the right arrow to select Edit to change the temperature source. As the speed of sound changes with temperature, it's critical that we know the ambient temperature in the process to achieve an accurate measurement. The default temperature source is Auto. Using the up-down arrows, highlight your temperature source. If temperature changes quickly in your application, please use the TS3. It has a faster response than the transducer internal temperature sensor. Press the right arrow to enter your selection. Press the down arrow to select Next to proceed. Now let's select your units of measure. The default is meters. Press the right arrow to select Edit to change the measurement units. The units you select will be used for setting your measurement range and the calibration points and be displayed on the screen when in run mode. Using the up-down arrows, highlight your unit of measure and press the right arrow to enter your selection. Press the down arrow to select Next to proceed. The next step in the wizard is to enter the empty distance. The empty distance is the distance from the face of the transducer to the process empty point. Press the right arrow to select Edit to modify the empty distance value. Use the left and right arrows to move the cursor up and down arrows to modify the empty distance value. To move the decimal point, position the cursor over the decimal point and then use the up arrow to move it to the left and down arrow to move it to the right. Once you have put in your empty distance, press the right arrow to highlight OK. Press the right again to accept the empty distance. Press the down arrow to select Next to proceed. The next step in the Quick Start Wizard is to enter the span distance. Press the right arrow to select Edit to enter the span distance. Use the left and right arrows to move the cursor. Use the up and down arrows to increase or decrease the span distance value. The span is the measurement range from the process empty point. Once the span distance value has been entered, use the right arrow to enter the span value. To proceed, press the right arrow until OK is highlighted and press the right arrow to select. Press the down arrow to select Next to proceed to the next wizard. The next step is to set the reaction speed of the device. The factory response rate default is set to medium, which is a rate of level change less than one meter in one minute. 
Press the right arrow to select Edit to modify this value. There are three options for speed of response, slow, medium and fast. Your response rate should be set slightly higher than the maximum process response change. Using the up or down arrows, highlight your response rate and press the right arrow to enter your selection. Press the down arrow to select next to proceed. Congratulations, you have successfully configured the measurement point one. If this is a dual point unit, you can configure the next point using the right arrow to select yes. If this is your only point of measurement, then finish the configuration using the down arrow to select no. If you need to make any changes, use the up arrow to select back to scroll through the wizard to ensure the information is correct. If you want to start over again, press the left arrow to select cancel. If you are confident that you have entered all the correct data, then load and save the values into the sensor using the down arrow to select finish. Congratulations, you have completed the level quick start wizard. When the wizard is complete, you will be brought back to the wizard quick start selection. To exit the wizard and return to the main menu, press the left arrow. To exit the main menu and return to run mode, press the left arrow again. Once you are back in run mode, you will see your level measurement reading and you have successfully completed the level quick start wizard. For more information, visit the web.